Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live, and I uh, wanted to share some things with you this morning, guys, uh, that I think is very important. I've been uh, about a week there in Washington, D.C., and I was able to meet uh, over several issues. And of course, one of the things that I was curious about was the foreign minister of Belarus. He died suddenly at age 64. Uh, and that's Vladimir Makai. It says here that the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Belarus has suddenly passed away today. Uh, that was, of course, five days ago. The foreign ministry said in its official Facebook account without providing more details about the circumstances surrounding uh, the foreign minister's death. Now, of course, he was going to be meeting with Sergey Lavrov of Russia and Russia called him a true friend and uh, but it didn't take long before the Western allies uh, they began to uh, claim that that uh, he was killed by the Russians and that the Russians have taken him out uh, in order to, to, to make sure that uh, President uh, Alexander Lukashenko is more compliant with Russia and that, uh, you know, having, if they have to go to war against Ukraine directly, that Belarus would actually send their troops in. And that has been something that's been just being pumped out by the Western media. But the fact is, it's completely false. Uh, this man was taken out uh, by none other than the West. And I'm not going to say who or which country, but uh, the circumstances surrounding his death uh, in some instances has been caused, said that he died of, even though it's suspicious, but natural causes. And it kind of goes back to the video that we did a little while back about um, the U.S. now using remote viewing as a form of assassination tactics and that that has been successful. If you recall, when we did the video, we talked about the number of Russian diplomats that were killed over a span of, what, about a year and a half. I think out of the nine of those, three of those actually died in their sleep, but yet it was still suspicious uh, how they died. And uh, most of them being reported of dying of heart attacks. And then I found out that the U.S. government does have a secret program. It's actually carried out from Dulce, New Mexico. Remote viewing. And remote viewing, not the type that you would see, what you see on YouTube where they show, oh gosh, the guy sits there and he's kind of thinking in his head about a place he's going to and suddenly draws out a picture about it, stuff like that. Oh no. We're talking about remote viewers that literally it's like their spirit leaves their body. They travel over to another dimension. In fact, one Israeli remote viewer who's one of the chief in being able to do these type things spoke about how he runs into gatekeepers along the way trying to cross over from one dimension to another uh, and has to have permission but he doesn't have permission so he's not able to cross over it's really crazy when you get into this type of spheres and these types of activities uh, that they do there and uh, but yes I have been told that we have been very successful in those uh, those attacks there so I am suspicious that that is exactly the way that uh, this this man has fallen victim uh, Mr. Vladimir Makai that he has actually fallen victim to maybe perhaps that type of new technology that's being used by the United States, uh, no doubt other maybe NATO ally countries uh, or even Israel may be carrying out that type of attack as well because Israel also is, uh, in a, in, is working with the U.S. on that type of project. In fact, one of their lead, one of the leading people in that is, is an Israeli who works for both Mossad and CIA on those platforms. Uh, listen, I also wanted to kind of remind, let you guys know too, on our Patreon channel, we are doing a lot of new information. I just uh, am loading, in fact, as we speak right now, I uh, just finished up here on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to go, I'll jump back to Paul here in just a moment here and explain to you what that's about there. But we have a new video, Elite will be sent to the moon, to moon base. Uh, we're going into that. We're going into a lot of other information, and that other information deals more with things that Mike from around the world has been sharing um, uh, with uh, Pastor Begley on his program there. This particular video was taken down. I'll be getting into that, but there was another one that Council of Time on, on uh, Pastor Anthony, as uh, I think he's referred to, uh, on his channel where Mike goes into a lot of things that are coming. He talks about things like uh, the moon riding the veil. He talks about what will happen. You know, man's hearts would fail for fear. What actually would cause man's hearts to fail for fear? 
and then he, he alludes to the idea of suddenly what if you could see um, the, the very things, the fabric that holds everything together was suddenly gone and suddenly you could see things like a pyramid floating by or Roman ruins floating by. Uh, he talked about uh, the International Space Station, a solid object going right through it. And I actually did a video on that just recently. Uh, and what I know because, uh, and even the meetings that I had in Washington this week here, um, we discussed a lot of the information that Mike is talking about because I knew about 70% of what he was saying, but I needed more clarification on certain issues there. Uh, he spoke about once you go beyond the moon, there's a veil, and once you go beyond that, a 10 megapixel camera, if you took a picture, there wouldn't be a single empty spot in there. I will tell you what that stuff is that's on there. Uh, the Hubble Space Telescope, when we first pierced that veil and we began to take photographs, every photograph was classified. You're going to find out the things that were on those photos. Not the photos, can't do that, but I can share with you information that I know about that. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, these events that no doubt the binary system that's coming is affecting here on this planet. Uh, the magnetosphere collapsing, he alludes to that. He talks about alien, or excuse me, not aliens, but um, uh, that you have to have escort in space, that you have to have permission, and it's not earthly. I will tell you who that is that gives that permission and who the escort really is. So much of this information is going to blow your mind away. Um, a lot of that's going to be over on our Patreon channel, but there is one thing that will definitely not be on Patreon because I feel like it's that serious of an issue that Mike spoke about that I think is critical that you know. Um, and that's where he's alluding to uh, a window would open, and when that time opens, you will see things that you have never known before. And this is where Mike talks about that could cause man's hearts to fail for fear. I'm going to tell you what it is, uh, what's going to happen, what's what we're anticipating. And of course, we've actually already spoke a little bit about this already from a German scientist that I had on that, uh, but I'm going to go deeper with you on that. And uh, so, listen, we're about to see some things, friends, that are going to be happening, and uh, and there's just a lot of information. And I really... I need to also take and break this down from a biblical aspect uh, because there are prophecies that I am aware of that will totally shed new light on things that Mike has brought out. Uh, I have to really give uh, Mike credit when it comes to this here. He put out so much information and in his disclosure. Uh, I have a feeling that Mike is part of the disclosure program. Uh, I know that we're privy to a lot of the same information. It's just Mike is far more intelligent as far as in his degrees, his knowledge, uh, his, his working with uh, astronomy. Um, he, you know, that's part of his background. It's one of his degrees there. And, you know, so, but for me, it's just intel so the, and, and, and ancient documents. So uh, I'm hoping to be able to shed some light on those blanks that he left to help you guys out so listen get over there on patreon it's only a dollar a month uh, if you want to donate more that would be greatly appreciated because it is a very difficult time right now uh, for us there so we certainly appreciate anything that God lays on your heart that you can do to help out on that but definitely hop on there because I'm going to be sharing a lot of information with you Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live thank you and God bless you for listening